now, now I'm going to go somewhere I wasn't planning on, but I'm, I'm actually oh. glad that we did. Okay. Uh -huh. Um, in another conversation, I, I, I had recently with Lisa Risingberry. Have you ever heard of Lisa Risingberry? No. Okay. She has a website, Rising Frequency. She has a blog. She does a radio talk show. She's been clairvoyant since about the age of three. And she has written several articles, one of which caught my attention a few months ago. And I, I, Honest to goodness, I cannot, I don't think I actually shared it with you. I don't know why I didn't until this moment now. Hmm. Well, I don't watch a lot of stuff outside. So, you know, sometimes it's wasted sharing with me. No, I real well, and I, and I get why you don't look at a lot of stuff outside. I, I really don't look much at Facebook anymore myself. Just scroll, scroll, whatever. Um, but in this article... Well, she was writing, writing about, you know, energy she was seeing come into the planet and, and everything. She has described what she, something coming in, she called the moo cord. And she sees it as energy. And I, uh, I have because I too have had some visuals as you know, and I, in my mind's eye, I kind of see what she, she may be alluding to. She has described it as the, a Birkeland current. And when she's trying to describe it, the closest thing she could find was something like a Birkeland current that they've supposedly found in space. And it, the Berglin currents look a, a little bit, not wholeheartedly, but a little bit like a DNA kind of rope, if you will. And so I, th I found that very interesting that that was... I get where they're saying it, but this is where for me, it's like you're experiencing something and you don't know what it is. So you go to your brain to try and describe it. For me, I understand exactly what she's saying. But it came from within me. Well, I had seen this. Her. It came from within her. From within her. Okay. Well, and look, this well, is. Well, I want you to tune in now and tell me. Like, tune into it now, feel that chord. Where did it actually ignite from? In her or was it dropped into her? Think about it. Because I, I know exactly the that they're referring to. I know exactly what it is. Do you think she was alone falling from the Pleroma? Do you think they let her do anything by herself? Do you think they let her rot with these fucking archons? Hell no. Right? But where did that come from? If she may be drawing in energy now, but where was the ignition? Because it wasn't from the outside. She he, did this herself. Right. Well, now, that's, that's I, I, I've got nothing on that, as you know. But I found it very, I, okay, so I'm looking at the synchronicity of it, if nothing else. Okay. Yeah, you're right. Um, whether, you know, her, her experience of it and the fact that she called it the moo cord is, the, cool. is what, what I am looking at there because I, it's like, you get experiences, you get the downloads, and instead of continuing to feel it and then let the brain interpret that feeling, people go straight to the brain and say, could you tell me what that feeling is, please? Can you feel the difference? Yes. So it's sort of like, oh, I have no doubt that she exactly the truth. But in trying to describe it, where that might the mind go from all these previous constructs trying to fit it into oh that means that oh that's the other dimension da, da, da. it's like no feel into it your fucking truth's in there then from the feeling let the feeling rise and the brain have to interpret the feeling not the brain trying to fit the feeling does that make sense Yes, it's something I'm considering now see that I, I will tell you that this is one of those instances for me that that all of this is really challenging for my brain, right? It's all very well. 
you know why you know why because we've all been programmed right it's all been programmed from the time we were born we've all drunk the kool-aid baby yes we all drink the kool-aid so so for me i it's again this is one of these kinds of things where i'm just trying to open my brain and allow something in to to kind of ruminate around in there and i sometimes it takes a little while hey i am you know i i need for things to, to ruminate a little bit um but no i see what you're saying and i can also but i can also see where uh because i do i will tell you i'm highly analytical I, i've got one of those brains that i will analyze some p i've heard you know some people say i do it why don't we use the word discernment instead of analytical why don't we say discernment because you go through it you pick it out bullshit walks the real deal talks well that's true that's true.